In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to rebuild the Magnum Pro X19 True Airless Sprayer by Greco. Um, I have this taken apart right now. Um, the reason being is because last time I used it, I didn't um, clear out the water in the in the hose, and some of the parts actually got rusted out. So I actually have to replace them, and um, I'll show you how to put it back together. Figured this would help some people out. So, um, so basically, what had happened was um, this. This is no good anymore. I mean, it probably still works, but it's uh, it's rusted inside, and the tip is rusted a little bit. So, I just went ahead and bought a new one. So I have one right here. It's the SG3. It's brand new. Um, got it from Amazon. I have a link in the description if you want that. The other part that got rusted is right here. I actually got a um, an actual um, Greco part, OEM part. Um, the piece is this one right here with the filter. As you can see, it got rusted. And that's like, it's no good. It's completely rusted inside. This actually goes right here, and this is where you connect the actual hose to. Um, so I bought a whole brand new part. Um, I'll have the link in the description. It's from another website other than Amazon, but it was about 20 bucks. Um, I also bought this by accident. Uh, for the ones that don't know, you cannot use this on, uh, on these spray guns with the orange tip you can only use the true airless black tips you can't use the green tips with these guns you can, you gotta get the uh, blue tip just uh, fyi for the uh, true airless tips i have the 619 so i can put on the ceiling paint and um i can put do some wall and uh, primer and then this for the trim the 311 I'll have these in the description um, if you want these so um, next step I'll be cleaning this out using my Craftsman air, um, air compressor and I'll be showing you exactly where each part goes all right so I just got done cleaning the whole entire unit um, I just did a simple wipe around it wasn't dirty at all to begin with but um i ended up using the air compressor uh, really blowing out all these holes so they're definitely clean i inspected many times i used isopropyl and uh, q-tips um nothing came off the q-tips so um or nothing was on the q-tips so it's definitely clean inside i just did it for a precaution so next um i'll be putting all this back together um i actually ended up getting a new hose because this one if you looked inside it rusted as you can see so i'll have an extra um gun and hose they're still gonna work i just have to clean them out with um mineral spirits i mean or um what's it called uh, paint thinner or something like that and um, I can just use it for like outdoor painting so I picked up a extra hose 50 foot um, this is for I'm gonna be painting my condo so that's gonna be brand new um, the reason this happened was I didn't use the pump armor and um, some people actually don't use it and this is what happens in this is exactly what you're gonna have to replace if you don't use pump armor. You can get away if you're not gonna paint like for like three days, but if you're gonna put it away longer than three days, I would definitely use pump armor. This is gonna protect these parts from rusting, such as this and the hose and the gun. And I'm sure they did this on purpose because they make this out of, I'm not sure what type of um, material this is, probably some type of aluminum, but obviously this won't rust and Obviously, some part, um, some of the parts in this gun do rust, and um, 
Yeah, so, and another thing to, um, a trick to really clean this out, to make the process easier, um, get a small hose, and for inside the house, I actually built this um, just so I can connect it to like the toilet, use the toilet connection, and then you have a uh, garden hose right there. Connect that to uh, this, and then um, clean it in the tub. That might make um, some of you guys' lives easier. So yeah, so um, proceeding to um, put this uh, back together, you're gonna need these tools right here. Not too many tools. Um, this is eight millimeters. So um, yeah, so it's not too hard. First, I'll be connecting the new version of this. Um, I went ahead and got a new one. It's actually right here. This is a OEM part from Greco. So this is 100% um, authentic. Looks, uh, looks really nice. So yeah, so this one will be going in this right here. Next, um, you're gonna have this thing. It's gonna screw on just like a, um, when you put a uh, tire cap. pressure cap. It's kind of hard to do it one hand. Okay, so you'll have to tighten that just slightly. I'll have to tighten this. Next, I'll be installing this part right here. Um, this simply goes on the top right here. So this is fairly basic, um, basic to put back together. I just figured, you know, these are the parts that are gonna rust and this is how you have to put it back together. All right, so the next step, you're gonna wanna lay down your paint sprayer just like this. Um, for this, you want to tighten all the way until you can't tighten anymore. And when the wire over here is on the top running like this. Next, once that's tightened, you're going to want to open this up by pulling up these tabs, lifting up, pushing up, then lifting up. It'll expose the um, pump. You're going to want to take this connection right here and it'll be... Um, It'll be connecting into these two screw holes right here, as you can see. You'll screw it in just like that. So when this comes down and then you pull it this way, it'll um, connect it. I'm going to screw that in and I'll get right back. All right, so I actually have to take it out um, and I actually took off the eight millimeter bit and that perfectly goes over the screw so I can tighten that up um, that's all secured now so to put it back in you just have to align the top over here into there and then the two um, cylinders and that should be all completed next we'll install this plastic piece which literally just goes over. The pointer should um, go on like this. And it clicks on just like that. And you want it to finish right on the high spray right there. Next, we'll just shut this door which is um, literally gonna connect the pressure gauge okay so next I'm gonna connect this and to do that you just want to flip it 
This is just to hold a five gallon bucket. The screws go right there. I'm gonna um, screw this in and I'll show you. All right, so I'm just using a regular screwdriver without the head. Okay, so now that's just secured. Um, next, I'm gonna install this piece right here. Now this connects to that, the bottom, goes in like this. But this is probably the trickiest piece to install. First, you're gonna wanna get the spring. And this spring is actually gonna go, um, if you can see that little uh, rod in the center, now for that, you're gonna wanna need um, some pliers. It's gonna be difficult to do on camera, but um, there you go. It's literally right in there. Um, now you can take this ball, put it on top here. and this ball will press against that spring. As you can see, it pushes the ball up. And now I'll just um, tighten this with my um, channel locks. Just a quick tip. Um, if you actually take the pump off, you can actually tighten it using the provided um, holes on the actual unit. So if you don't have a wrench, slip that in and you can hand tighten it by grabbing each end and um, tightening it that way. Also, you can take off the pump right there using the other end. I thought that was pretty cool. I'm still gonna use my channel lock, um, but uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, with that done, next step is to grab the primer. Just looks like this. When you press it, that ball moves. Can't really show it right there, but um, yeah, this will go right down in there and it will press against that ball. I should have probably um, put this in before I put this guard. So you're probably gonna wanna do this step after. Put this one on after you tighten the primer. So I'll be taking it off and tightening that back on. All right, so yeah, this was a little tricky just because of the, the bolt and the uh, primer head gets in the way of a wrench. So you're gonna want something that's a little shorter than the uh, primer. And one thing that I'm um, noticing is the new the, um, connection for the hose seems like it's made out of aluminum. It looks like a different metal than what was used previously, which is over here. Could just be dirty, this one, but um, I will see. Um, it doesn't really, uh, it's not really noticeable right now, but um, hopefully they made this out of a rust resistant metal. That would be better. All right, so I have the five gallon bucket or gallon bucket um, guard or hanger. Um, I tightened all of the connections with my wrench. So it's very tightened. Now, next step, we're gonna be connecting the um, hose right here. And it's gonna be tricky with one hand, so basically just push that right on and then undo these um, Mickey Mouse clamps and put it over the actual um, hose. Just like that, final step, we don't need that, is connect this. So paint, um, paint um, screen, and this is impossible to do with one hand, so you'll know the drill. All right, so everything is connected on the machine. I'll be connecting the new line that I bought. This is a 50 foot 
Duraflex airless hose. And this is my new airless spray gun, SG3. Um, I'll be connecting these. First, I'll be connecting the line to the inlet or the outlet of the paint machine. So yeah, this is completely brand new, no rust. This simply just goes right on here. Um, I'll connect that in the gun and I'll show you. All right, so it's all done, it's all connected. I have the new gun connected. I have to tighten it with two, um, a channel lock and a, a wrench. Yeah, so let this be a reminder that um, you should always use pump armor or this will happen to you. Um, every time you use this machine, um, when you clean it out, like I said, use a hose, it makes it a lot easier. You don't have to keep on refilling buckets. Um, once that's crystal clear and no water's coming out, you take the pump armor. This has a little uh, connection at the top. You can take off this hose right here, this hose. This goes right up in there and you can suck up um, the pump armor until you see it coming out. And yeah, that should uh, protect your machine. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, check out my other videos. Thank you.